The final lesson in this course is about creating documentation for our API. This is described by the client with this one small sentence, creating docs is a big plus. And of course it's a plus, it's a must have if you want the API to be consumed. So someone else consuming that API would first open the docs and see something like this I've generated. And in this case, I decided to shoot this video not to show the lesson step by step because it's not really suitable for video. There's a lot of configuration, so you can watch me typing the configuration values, but instead you can read that in text format and get familiar with the documentation of the tool that I use, which is called Scribe. It's a Laravel package with a lot of features, a lot of configuration values, so you can spend quite a lot of time reading the documentation, but basically you write dog block comments in your controllers for endpoints, what they do, what are their parameters, responses, authentication mechanism and stuff like that. Then you run one command of PHP artisan scribe generate and it generates HTML file, which is clickable with JavaScript. So auth endpoints, login, admin endpoints and public endpoints. It also includes example requests, example responses, parameters, for example, like this. Also main information in the introduction, what is the authentication mechanism, which is bare token in our case. So something like that is consumable for someone who want to use our API. And here I want to kind of summarize in a few words the course that we already had. I've calculated so that it's already almost two hours. So here's what project you can create. Of course, it's not a few hours. It's a few hours of video me already showing the written code or existing solution. In reality, it would be one or two days with all the experiments and going back and forth. So if you spend that time, actually create that API or similar API and upload it on your GitHub, you could show that example as your experience with Laravel API, which you could show to potential employers or freelance project clients. Because as I mentioned in multiple videos and courses, it's about practice and it's about showcase of your work. So hope with this example, with example from real job interview task, you got the practical experience with Laravel APIs. And see you guys in other videos.